Good afternoon and happy Wednesday. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Caroline Derby here with Georgia Richards to give you the latest on Washita News. We have great stories for you today, but first let's hear what our weather is looking like this week. Sarah? Thanks, Georgia. Welcome Washita Weather Watchers. This week is starting to feel like spring is here. Today we have a high of 70 and a low of 50. Tomorrow we will have a high of 72 with a low of 30 and a 100% chance of precipitation. Friday, the sun will be back out with a high of 54 and a low of 25. The weekend is looking like you will want to get outside with highs in the 60s and sunny skies. Monday, the rain is back with 80% chance of precipitation and a high of 70 degrees and a low of 46. Tuesday will also once again be raining with a high of 72 and a low of 57. Spring is almost here. Predictions by AccuWeather. Back to y'all. Thanks, Sarah. Project 6A is being developed on campus right now. Let's hear what Jake learned about this new endeavor. Washita students never get tired of finding new ways to serve the community. Project 6A is an organization in the making that is likely to help students get more involved. Here are a couple of its founders. Well, we are so excited to be starting Project 6A, which will hopefully be an organization that gives students the chance to share their passions and everything that they know and have been equipped for. We believe that students have such a great capacity to change our local community, but also this country, also this world. This opportunity will be a great way to participate in reaching out to the community. Project 6A is about the inspiration and unification of students towards service. And I'm really excited to see all the different ideas that students are going to come up with to be able to inspire and encourage the community around us. Project 6A will be partnering with the Arbroath Center and Campus Ministries, but it is fully student-led. One thing that we are really motivated to do is to make Washita more like Washita, and we believe that with your gifts and your passions and your dreams, we can make that a reality. This is Jake Greenwich for Washita News. Back to you. Campus. February is Black History Month and more. Multicultural organization Reaching Equality is organizing events throughout this month. Here is Kelsey Lonhan with an interview from one of the speakers from Black History Month. February marks the start of Black History Month. Along with the calendar full of Black History celebrations available for all students to attend, the Moore program invited OBU alumni Kendra Pruitt to share some words of wisdom with current students in an alumni spotlight event. I talked with her at the end of her visit and asked her a few questions. Here's what she had to say about the importance of observing Black History Month. I think the widespread celebration of Black History Month helps people understand the value of Black people, the contributions that they've made. She shared something we should be aware of. I think people need to know the struggle it took for Black history to even be acknowledged in our country. When asked what we at Washita can do to make people of color feel celebrated and loved, this is what she had to say. Elevating the voices of Black people and their experiences, truly taking an introspective look at themselves about how they interact with Blackness in general. So not just black people, but black things, black businesses. And, and when you do that introspection, I hope it challenges you to um, do something different, be better. Even if you're doing great things as it is, I'm challenging yourself to do better. Attending these events like the Alumni Spotlight for Black History Month, these are not just for black students to attend because we can talk all day about our experiences, but do our experiences get better if those who are also here aren't listening and hearing our experiences as well. This month not only gives us an opportunity to further our understanding of Black history, it also encourages us to research beyond stories of racism and slavery to admire Black achievement. As Kendra said in her call to action, attending Black History Month events is important for all students to further their knowledge and relationships on campus. Check out the Black History Month calendar for upcoming events. This is Kelsey Lahan with the Washington News. Be sure to go to the other events on campus this month, including a talent show, a panel discussion, and Friday at Dr. Jack's put on by Moore. 
Next up is This Week at Washita. A few other events are happening on campus this week, including the production of Tanglewood, shown in Verser Theater February 16th through February 20th. This is an arch engagement event, so be sure to go see this fabulous production directed by Sammy Campione. Refuge is this Thursday at 9 p.m. at Second Baptist Church in Arkadelphia. Make sure to go worship the Lord with your peers this Thursday night. This Friday at 12:15, the International Club will be performing at Dr. Jack's Coffee House. Saturday is host and hostess auditions for Tiger Tunes, so be sure to come watch your peers, peers perform on Saturday afternoon. Saturday is also the Rock Fest Climbing Competition in the Crag. That event will be taking place from 1 to 4. Georgia, what's the Rural Rundown looking like this week? Washita Spring Athletics are in full swing. Friday, HSU will play our Washita Softball on our home turf. Washita Baseball is playing Southern Nazarene University at 2 p.m. on our home turf as well. The women's tennis team is playing Rhodes College Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. Support your peers and as always, go Tigers! Well, you just heard the latest news from Washita. If you have a story for us, message us on Instagram at Washita News. We'll see you next time. Have a great week.